Now, if you worry about the Satlink um, WS6909, uh, you put it on here by this button at the back, at the bottom, and then you get uh, uh, normally you get the main menu, uh, the main screen where you have four sub menus, and as you see here, you have DVBS Digital Video Broadcasting S. Digital video broadcasting terrestrial multimedia that's for connecting uh, uh, different uh, apparatus uh, via USB here and you have the configuration. I go straight to the configuration and make some small changes here. The country I have selected here is France and the language is English but you have different languages. You have Dutch here uh, and uh, you have French of course, you have Portuguese etc. Uh, then I, I would select English. And here the LNB, uh, the TV mode, you can change also what type of screen you have for this device. And the longitude actually is the place where you are residing yourself. And you have to uh, get that from uh, uh, a GPS. This is important because um, the uh, different uh, uh, satellite program softwares uh, that will give you the, uh, the, the elevation. Uh, uh, related to your position, they will use these uh, geographical coordinates and they will tell you uh, what uh, um, azimuth or, or rotation angle from the north you should uh, have if you want to, to get uh, such uh, a precise satellite. That's why you have to include, to input here, your uh, precise position. And then you have the time zone, uh, this is not so so important, but then you can change it, and uh, you have the uh, software update mode, and that's all here. Then I will be back to the main menu, making exit, and then I go to the first menu where I make my research of satellites. It's uh, it's here DVBS. And then I enter there, and I want to do a quick search. Uh, a quick search if I put. Enter here, you have a proposal already of Nilesat. So you have inside the device a list of satellites. And this one is Nilesat. If you press this, if you press this button uh, here, uh, you can change. You have uh, uh, different satellites uh, here inside. But uh, it's good to know that this list is just uh, indicative. You can add more uh, uh, names of satellites and the uh, the corresponding uh, what they call transponders uh, if i am back keeping nile sat the uh, the lnb type i have to precise here this is a universal lnb with the low frequency and the high frequency but here also you can change you have unicable type of lnb normal c and you have normal ku band that's that's uh, convenient for this this type of LNB that I have here, this is universal LNB, yeah, single KU, yeah, Tokyo Sat. And uh, then you can uh, you can have universal and and and, and uh, a different type of LNBs. Uh, you go down. You have the transponder numbers. The transponder. This one that is selected is transponder number one. But if you press this. Um, uh, the triangle on the right, you will enter the menu also, or where you have the number of transponders uh, according to the device. Of course, this number have been assigned, and you have the frequency and the symbol rate. That is, for example, for the transponder number one, the frequency is 11,747, and the symbol rate 27,500. And the polarization of the signal is vertical. This type of information about the transponder um, uh, frequency, a symbol rate, and polarization, you can get them from websites such as uh, uh, the, the website we have mentioned here that you can see. Uh, the first one is tracksat.com, and the second one is free to air satellite tv.co.za. And the third one is this one, and the fourth is this one, and the, the, the fifth one, this one. So these are websites where you can have uh, the, the transponders uh, um, 
frequency and symbol rate. One can compare transponders like uh, radio. Uh, if you don't have the right frequencies and the symbol rate, then the, the, the channel, the precise channel uh, or program you want, uh, for example, TV5 or uh, uh, National Geographic, if you don't have the precise frequency, you cannot get them. Uh, so sometimes in the device startling itself, these true frequencies are uh, uh, simply missing. And you have to do some internet research in order to find the frequency for specific channels. It is very important. And then you change here. Once you have selected a transponder number, you make OK. And you go down here. So the frequency is here. The symbol rate is also here. I have selected the transponder number two. Uh, compare the transponders like different devices uh, on on board of satellites, and this help to broadcast uh, the programs. Um, the polarity that is H, the LNB type, this uh, uh, the 13 and uh, uh, 18 vertical uh, volt. Sorry, uh, you have a key uh, the 22k tone. On generally, I put on auto. I'm not using a dissect in that case, so it's off. Uh, this one, the dissect, we have already uh, spoken about that in another video. And the turn burst off also. And the satellite longitude I'm using here is uh, 353 east. And you go down, and then it's finished. Uh, a few words about the frequencies and the polarization and symbol rate. If you take, for example, the satellite Utelsat, uh, located at 16 degrees east, um, these frequencies are working frequencies. You have 10,804 uh, polarization H in Africa, uh, at least West Africa, this works, and symbol rate 9. 29,997. For example, you have programs like, like uh, uh, TV5, etc., etc. And then you have this second frequency, 12,506H, polarization, and the symbol rate, 29,997. You can have the national television of. Uh, uh, of uh, of Gabon and uh, and other other channels so you can have on these frequencies. Information about uh, uh, the the the, s the satellite uh, um, position uh, connected to as we explained to my geographic coordinates get, uh, that I get uh, with a from a GPS. You have, for example, the satellite Utilsat, uh, seven degree west A, or Nilesat. Uh, seven degree west. Uh, these two satellites are, are located at the same position, seven degree west in the in the sky. Now, from the GPS, I I, I got my coordinate. That's uh, the, the the one you you see here. So twelve point four uh, north and one point four uh, west. And then I used um, online software uh, to find the uh, position. Uh, uh, of the satellite in terms of azimuth is 204.3 degree and the elevation in the sky so the inclination uh, above the horizon uh, that's a 74 degree and the LNB tilt the LNB tilt is uh, uh, the angle uh, uh, with which you should uh, turn your LNB and that you do it uh, by turning the LNB like that until the amplification is sharp. And then in that area, this uh, satellite uh, uh, finder can help you a lot. Because if you turn the LNB, then the signal will be sharp in a, at a certain rotation of your LNB. That's what we call LNB tilt. Uh, for me, it's 23.7. So, but don't, 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 don't focus so much on this. You can, you can use your satellite finder to find exactly the sharpest position. Now, once uh, you have uh, selected uh, your uh, satellite uh, that that you want, so you know you have adjusted your uh, your parable or your satellite dish uh, so that to uh, to orient it toward your satellite according to the azimuth, but according also to the elevation. Um, 
then you make a search with your satlink device by making uh, um, OK and then you have the signal level here uh, signal level and the signal quality this one also depending on your location don't 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 focus too much on the quality of the signal and uh, we am in this transponder scan and you see the level here and you hear also the uh, the sound from my satellite finder one might may think that uh, if the signal level is here normally if i move my lnb in front of the satellite dish uh, the amplification should be also perceived in the screen of my satellite but this is not so true uh, because if i put my hand for example here there is a change in the in the noise emitted by the sat finder there is a change but i don't see so much change in the the red uh, uh, strip that you see on the screen here that's why one can say that these two devices are complementary though this one the sat link is not necessary it's not required uh, to find a satellite position uh, the only satellite finder can be enough because the change in the volume of the sound emitted can inform you about the position of the satellite it doesn't mean that this is not important it doesn't mean that sat link is not important it is important in such a way that if you have located so a sharp position and you move them to auto scan in the center here and then you press ok it will make a scanning of the different frequencies uh, for your satellite and once a, a program is detected has been detected it will list the program here and the radio also the tv programs and the radio list are displayed here and then uh, at the end of the scanning you can directly see on the screen the movies we have spoken also about useful online softwares uh, for finding the frequencies the symbol rate and the polarization of transponders corresponding to the specific tv broadcasting you want well, these are uh, these are uh, some of the website where you can find uh, for uh, the, the, the calculation of, of the frequencies you can find them here there um, you have the satellite calculations.com and you have uh, satdirection.com and you have totalsat.co.uk also uh, and you have the, 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 the internet uh, the, the link uh, to connect to this website and then you can get from there different uh, information about the frequencies that are working not all the frequencies I told already you um, coming with your sat link will work on your location so you have to make uh, some, some research about that